you know how many people care about how their Instagram layout looks when somebody lands on it, when only 1% of people do that in the beginning, to begin with, who are all gonna cry that they didn't put out more content during this golden era? You got your perspective. I just wanna be happy, don't you wanna be happy? Because you actually have a business success, like a real one, a, a real tangible one for that matter, you, I think you really need to use that as your shield to experiment. Here's what I mean by that. If you play it out, from, even for me, and I'm like pretty far along in this, like all of it comes down to, the lack of content, Tom, comes down to judgment and insecurities. It really does, right? Like even I, at where I'm at, like think about like, okay, somebody's gonna go and see how good is my engagement to my 4.1. You know, because I think all of us go on that random Instagram account that has eight million followers and you see they have 3,000 likes and like no comments and you're like, oh, this person bought them. What a loser, da 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 da. So, what, what I, what I, what I, I think what really helped me, period, is like, no matter what anybody says, like, oh, you lost your way on Twitter, you're not as good at this. I always have like, but in the macro, I've built actual businesses, right? Like, and I've had business success. I think one way, I'm just trying to give you like a thing that might work for you, like, who cares if a piece of sawdust gets posted on Instagram and it flops and like somebody comes and sees that it got 700 likes instead of like 5,000, which is what you should get for that many followers. Like, you need to find a trigger in your head to perfectionism or I want it to be good is just not true. It's a, it's, a, it's a facade and makeup for insecurity and vulnerabilities. And so you need to figure out what trigger gets you okay with giving the team more autonomy to put you on third and a half base. It's really, this is very meta. I just said to DRock before this drive that we're taking in wine country, I'm working on this wine project. Um, hey man, we're making a huge mistake. We have all this great uh, video content and I'm, if I really think back to what made me good at Wine Library and kind of makes me good at social, is weirdly, even though I have no grammar skills, though they've gotten a little bit better over the last 10 years, I'm a really good copywriter. Like I know what to say that will get people to pay attention to it. And I go, I feel the reason that a lot of the content that I'm being given right now, I'm not posting, I've come to realize it's not the video, it's the way you guys titled the meme, right? Um, so. So I said to him, I was like, look, start sending me the raw videos, I'll reply with the titles, and I have a funny feeling I'll be posting more. And even as I'm telling you this, I can feel the chemicals in my body saying that's exactly right. I think you need to let your team put you on third and a half base, right? Like, give you the clip, or whatever the sawdust is, and like, you know, like I said to John, who's trouty right now, who's driving, I, was, I have to go send an email to ask somebody to make a cameo in this wine promotion video, and I don't wanna do it, because I hate asking. It's unbelievable how much I hate asking people to do anything ever, anytime, in forever. I hate it. But, but having a Chris Rock cameo or whatever the fuck in this will really help and so I have to do it. And I literally said to him, I'm taking a flight tomorrow from San Francisco, pound me, like bug me until I do it. I, I think you need to give permission to your team of like, like I think DRock and I work well together because I really through the last three, four years was like look, even if I snap and I'm like, fuck you, like, you know, like, leave me alone, I'm dealing with a fire at Vayner, or like, that's not important, like, that's not true. And just keep pushing me because that's what I need. You have to create a framework and trust with your team of like, when you're not giving them the copy or physically posting it or whatever system that you've created that you're the bottleneck, that they have the ability and the triggers to push you through until it becomes second nature. It's just so important. Posting. Here's the only thing that's not debate, like quality of a video of the creative, that's debatable. People debate if it's good, if that was funny, if that was thoughtful, if that was a good post. Quantity is not debatable. Four posts a day is not debatable. And it is an absolute requirement. And here's the biggest thing, brother, and I'm saying this for myself too. You and I are gonna be really fucking sad when Instagram's algorithm collapses the way Facebook's did. And it can happen any day. And then we're all gonna look at each other and be like, motherfucker when I had the chance to post four times a day and get 30, 40, 50% organic and now I only get 2%, I'm a fucking idiot. So that's it man, you know, like, I really, I highly recommend 
you know, look, you're gonna get all these cost savings of taking this internal. I would pour that into internal capes over written and audio and video and just go, you know? Just really push yourself. Create that breakfast thing or you know, that framework. R- reach out cold to the A list of the A list. You know, obviously you have a lot of friends so you'll have a lot of people who can actually do it for you too. You know, this guy knows that guy, this gal knows that guy, this guy knows that gal. Um, I, I guess the biggest thing I'm saying, and again, I'm really reinforced, I'm taking advantage of this selling myself. You gotta squeeze when that moment exists. And I think that has been driving me so much in the last two years that this is such a special time that will go away. And then while we're waiting for voice apps or augmented reality or whatever the fuck, we're all gonna think back to these you know, glory days of you know, 2014 to 2018 as times where you could have really built and we didn't take advantage of it. Just like email open rates at 90%, just like Facebook feed, just like unlimited consumption on Twitter. Dude, when I had 7,000 followers on Twitter, all of them saw everything every time. You're not, you're not gonna care about being precious when you can't get distribution. Right now everybody's being fancy. Do you know how many people care about how their Instagram layout looks when somebody lands on it? When only 1% of people do that in the beginning to begin with, who are all gonna cry that they didn't put out more content during this golden era? So, that's kind of where my energy is on that.